Hey everybody, welcome back. So now that I've had a successful ABS print, let's go back and try polycarbonate again. One thing to note here is a couple changes. One is I have sealed the enclosure with the, the weather strip from Lowe's. Whether you can get from Amazon or any Home Depot store. It's just this quarter inch stuff. It's about two bucks for a roll. I bought two rolls and I have sealed it all the way around including the bottom. Of course I still have the big hole the um, the cables go through but let me turn the light out. If you'll notice that before you could see lots of light shining through it now there is none. So I'm not going to try and tell you it's a hundred percent sealed up but it's certainly far better than it was before. Also the humidity inside my house has doubled in the past few days. It's gone from 16 percent to 32 percent inside. I have not dried this filament, so take this test with a grain of salt. So I have that same little cup ready to print. This, um, I don't know if you can see it, my little temperature thing says it's 43.1. Actually it's going up 43.4 degrees Celsius inside. It is 29 Celsius in the room. And um, it seems to heat up quicker with it sealed up. I don't know if I really think it's going to make that big of a difference, but that's one more step to go before I put a heater in it. So I'm going to start this print right now. It has been up to temperature. The printer bed and nozzle has been up to temperature for about 35-40 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and make this little print. This is just that little cup that I did last time that failed miserably when I had no enclosure. And I don't know if the cure profile is exactly the same. Come on. If the cure profile is exactly the same because I seem to have lost that profile. Kind of annoying, but um, there you have it. I did it. So I have made another profile. The um, nozzle temperature is 275. The bed temperature is 90. 90 is about as high as I want to go with the hairspray in the mirror because the hairspray starts to get gooey much above 90. 90 is about as high as I've gone and had success for them. So, we're going to try this and um, we'll see how this goes. Like I say, if this fails, drying the filament out will be the next step. And um, I think I'm going to have to run the bed temperature up at least 20 C higher. And I can do that. I've got a PEI sheet around here somewhere I bought and never bothered using because I have such good luck with the mirror and hairspray. I'll get that on and try it. And if that fails, I'll try putting a heater in it and get the enclosure up even even higher. And it, if that fails, I'm really not sure what else I can do to get a print with this filament to work. But we're going to see how this goes and I will get back to you. Let's get it out of there and let's see what it looks like. Now I printed this with a skirt only and I printed it pretty small just so I could kind of get an idea for um, how much luck I was going to have with it before I print it out. It's hot in there, geez. Like opening an oven door. Alright, here it is. I don't know, let me see how well you can see that. Let's get that door shut. I don't know how well you can see that. It is, um, it goes crinkly crunchy when I tweak it. Let's see how, um, before I do it too much, let's see how flat the bottom of it is. See if you can, we can get that in there. Yeah, you know what? It's um, it's a little rounded on the bottom and it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be flat. Yeah, it's got a little little warp on the bottom and um, yep, I can rip it right apart. So yeah, this is not particularly any better than the other one was. Notice the, the bottom layer, the bottom in the first, excuse me, I got it out of the shot. The bottom and the first few layers are pretty good. It's, um, yeah, get rid of that bad part. And um, that part of it is, uh, is pretty darn solid. Now I had the fans coming on. That's very solid. I had the fans coming on. Maybe I need to switch the fans off and, um, and um, try it with a brim. Let's do that. Let's switch the fans off and try it with a brim. Okay, this is the one I printed with the um, with the brim. Let's take a look. That pulled around. <laughs> yeah, that's no better than the other one. Cause it pulled right apart on me. Pulled right into two. 
right half into. Funny, the rest of it, no, no, it's not. I was going to say the rest of it's pretty solid. I was going to say the rest of it's pretty solid, but um, it's not. Got the base down there. The base is nice and solid. If I haven't mentioned this, I've been printing the first layer at 150% um, line width and 150% thickness. And it's solid as a rock. So maybe what I need to do, maybe what I need to do is increase the line width and the thickness for all of it. Let's try that next. And if that doesn't work, then we'll go to something else. Who knows? Okay, so slight change of plans. I decided to print one more, but at my max nozzle temperature of 300, with everything else being the same. So let's have a look. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see if that helped any, or if it moved us in the wrong direction. Wow, it is solid. <laughs> I didn't change the bed temp, but um, let me get a scraper. Here we go. And uh, let's get it off of there. Holy cow, there it comes. All right, let's get the door shut. Keep the heat in for the next one. And let me get behind the camera so I can make sure I'm in the shot. Here we go. Let's get rid of the brim. Or at least the worst of the brim. I got a slight elephant's foot at the bottom, I think, because of the 120% flow rate, but I gotta tell you, we're pretty flat. Honestly, it's no more solid, I think, than it was before. Maybe a little bit. And now you see I cracked it there. But there's something about that. It looks like crap compared to down at 275. So, I don't know if you can see that. Don't know if it'll focus. But um, it doesn't look very good compared to where it was at 275. And I don't think it's significantly stronger. Upping the flow rate seems to have made more difference than anything else. So, um... I might try some more of that. So this one is with the temperature back down at 275. The bed I tweaked up to 100 although I was not really sure that was going to work with hairspray. And I bumped the flow from 120 to 130. Let's see what we've got. Well, it came off easy enough. Let's um, have a look at it. Let's get the um, the brim off of it. And um, bottom is really flat. Holy cow! The bottom is super flat. Holy cow! Let me get my um, little square here. I don't know if you can see that, but the bottom of that is. That is, that's the flattest, that is the flattest polycarbonate print that I have ever got. That is quite good. Now the question is, how, um, how strong are the layers? And got a, there's still a little bit of the brim stuck to it. Um, it's pretty good. I'm still getting some crackling when I squeeze it. If I squeezed it hard enough, I could separate it, I think. But boy, that's by far... That is the best one I've gotten. I'm going to really reef on it. Ugh. It's starting to hurt. <laughs> well, I'm hearing it crackle, but boy, that is the best one I have ever gotten. I don't know if you can see it there very well, but um, that's pretty darn good. I would have to clean up the... I'd have to clean the, the brim off of it better, maybe with a little knife, but... I'm pretty happy with that. That's pretty darned impressive. So I might have gotten closer to the ideal settings for this film. So I'm going to call this good for the day, and I'll probably come back and experiment a little more another time. Thanks for joining me with this, guys. I will catch you the next time. Bye for now.